Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss thermoregulation in fish. There are two types of fishes. One are known as thermoconformers, which do not regulate their body temperature, while other group of fishes which regulate their body temperature are known as thermoregulatory function of the fishes. So as you know that fish usually live in water and different waters have different body temperature. Usually fishes are ectothermic as they get their heat from their ambient water temperature. And uh, some fishes are homeothermic like uh, they can maintain their internal body temperature and some are cold blooded or poikilothermic they can uh, they cannot generate their own body heat rather they can maintain their own body temperature according to the ambient body temperature now let's discuss these uh, uh, thermoregulatory strategies in detail first of all i'm going to discuss those fishes which live in very cold water which is below freezing if the water has frozen the fish cannot survive in ice so there should be uh, at least some temperature in the water from which fish can survive so such fishes which live in very very cold water with like minus 2 degree centigrade so it it is possible that their blood or their blood plasma can become ice crystals and uh, these ice crystals present in blood will change the density of the blood and uh, will render the uh, difficulties in the swimming process contraction and relaxation of the muscles of the fish so for that purpose these fishes which live in very cold water they have adopted to have antifreeze in their blood antifreeze is present in different forms like some fishes have polyalcohols like sorbitol and glycerol in their blood which prevents the formation of ice crystals and some fishes also have water soluble peptides and glycopeptides these peptides also helps blood uh, prevents ice crystal formation in the blood or super cooling of the blood some fishes have protein sugar compounds which also help in the formation which helps to prevent the formation of ice crystals inside the blood plasma most fishes are ectothermic it means that they get their body heat from ambient water temperature some fishes are homeothermic they maintain their internal body temperature to a fixed value most sharks are poikilotherms like they can maintain their body temperature which is which matches with the ambient temperature for example if a fish is living in the water the temperature of the water is 40 fahrenheit so the fish the temperature of the fish is going to be 40 fahrenheit also if the fish is living in our water which has temperature 25 degree centigrade the temperature of the core temperature of the fish is also going to be 25 degrees centigrade so these fishes are known as poikilotherms some fishes like tuna fish they have special adaptation to maintain the internal body temperature these fishes usually maintain higher body temperature in the center while a lesser temperature in the periphery of the body for example tuna fish which live in cold water they usually maintain higher body temperature in the center and lower body temperature in the periphery so i have taken a cross section of this tuna fish right over here in the center you can see vertebra the bone of vertebral column right over here is a silom silomic cavity these are the red vessels which are involved in the powerful contraction and relaxation which helps in the fast and powerful movement of these muscle these fishes and on the periphery there are muscles which are known as white muscles 
so the temperature in the red muscle is higher which is 31 degree centigrade while the temperature in the white muscle is 21 degree centigrade this difference in temperature is helpful in maintaining the internal temperature of the body by a process known as counter current exchange for that purpose i have taken a cross section from over here and I'll, i see that this section of the body has a network of blood capillaries known as retimerable miraculous network which consists of veins and arteries vein usually contain blood which is has higher temperature while arteries contain a blood which has lower temperature so these uh, two arteries and veins move in opposite direction and blood flow is also in opposite direction so what happens that the higher temperature in the blood moves from vein into the artery the same way this vein also transfer higher temperature to the lower temperature in the artery in this way the blood in the arteries also become warmer and when this higher temperature in the arteries reaches to the internal body temperature in that case the temperature of the internal organs of the body near the red muscles also increases so in this way counter current exchange method these fishes helps to maintain higher body temperature in the center while lower body temperature around the periphery of the body this higher temperature in the center helps red muscles to contract and relax more powerfully and more effectively for faster and efficient locomotion in the deeper water for prey so in this way different fishes living in different conditions and different temperatures of water maintain uh, different body temperatures according to their thermoregulatory strategies that's all for today see you in the next lecture bye bye